Hii shalawam shalawam all praise hana ni glory to Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai Bahashem Laka Kwadash and the Bahana Zelda and the apostles of the Son who do well a peace blessing and salutation to you who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven and beyond the four front of the spiritual world to make your Jerusalem easy established as a praise he only is again as in the days of all the soul it is Another lesson uh, coming to you uh, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. We are approaching another Passover in which uh, that's a very serious time. Man. Uh, see, the time in which uh, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai uh, he uh, delivered us out of uh, ancient Egypt. Uh, she in uh, his omnipotence, man, and uh, in which he showcased the uh, she uh, his almight. Uh, she he showcased his power, man, and uh, he ended a uh, great fame uh, through those acting uh, and. Uh, one among many remarkable things he did is he put to death all the firstborn of ancient Egypt, men and beast. She let me get that very quick. She let me see. Let me see. This is uh, Exodus. This is Exodus 12. I uh, started at verse 26. It read, and it shall come to pass when your children shall, it, shall say unto you what mean ye by this service, that ye shall say it is a sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, who passed over the house of the children of Israel in Egypt when he mowed the Egyptian and delivered their house, and the people bowed the head and the washing. Uh, she uh, she so that's one point. Another point is let me let me go to First Corinthians, I think. First Corinthians eleven. I start at verse twenty three and uh, I'll lead down as she first Corinthians eleven, the verse twenty three. It lead for I have received of the Lord Yahawashai, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Yahawashai, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. So we see two serious events uh, in which he both happened in an event of a Passover, man. Uh, she she the night of the Passover man and when he had given thanks he break it and he said take it this is my body which is broken for you this do in the remembrance of me so we do this in the remembrance of your shy man uh, she the same way he spared us in ancient Egypt he will do to us the same thing because the scripture tells you the Moshe does not change. The thing which will happen now is he will spare the elect of the nation of Israel, in which you might say, uh, the Bible says the Moshe does not change. Uh, why now he, he will only spare the elect of the nation of Israel? The elect will be, say, will be spared to bring the whole entire nation of Israel, amen? 
she that's mercy the moshia will have mercy on the whole entire nation of israel but right now it will be done stepwise the first step will be sparing the elect then the elect will bring the whole entire nation of israel again so the moshia will have mercy on the whole entire nation of israel like he did before you see after the same manner yes, he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is a new testament of in my blood this do ye as of you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup you do show the lord yahweh shai death till he come so the passover this man is 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 is, is a have 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 a, a time period man uh, we are the ministering the uh, ministrant whatever man about the death of Yahweh Shai man she uh, first and secondary about uh, the mercy the more shy Yahweh Shai man Shai showed to our ancestor uh, when we were in the ancient Egypt the night of the passover where for who shall ever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the lord and he worthy uh, she, this is the point of this lesson man it is started at verse 27 i was just going through the history to uh, establish a, a premacy uh, for this lesson and uh, today's lesson we are going to see uh, about the importance of fasting and examining yourself before and after the passover of a man as she before and after the passover of a man so i will repeat verse 27 wherefore whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the lord and he worthily shall be guilty of the blood and the blood of the lord how shall I? but let a man examine himself so let him eat that bread and a drink of that cup uh, she very praying for he is that eaters in a drink and he was the eaters in a drink damnation to himself not in discerning the lord's word so you take lightly of the lord's sacrifice man you see you take lightly because that's, that's a focal point of this ministry man the lord's sacrifice man without him man even we could be through Uh, she is she for he is that he said it is in a drink and he worthily it is in a drink damnation to himself that's why a lot of people bug out during the time of the passover man see this could as well be your ticket into bugging out you see not discerning the lord's body so you take light of the lord's sacrifice man you take lightly of your king man is she is she let 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 me get a scripture here she uh uh-huh, i think it is in ecclesiastic i just don't remember which ecclesiastic which chapter man mm uh-huh, is in ecclesiastic man ecclesiastic ecclesiastic uh, 8 and 4 Where are the word of the king is there is power and who may say unto him what that though who is the king man how shall I back to my point first Corinthians 11 and 29 for he has eaten and drinks and he, and drinks and he was he eats and drink damnation to himself not discerning the lord's word man what's the lord's word man you see you see that's too faulty it goes into this true wisdom knowing and understanding man, the lord's word eating the lord's word that goes into you eating the lord lord's word the lord's word also can mean the elect hot a one significant thing about the elect man this wisdom they carry the wisdom of, of yahaba so the lord's word is the true is of knowing and understanding and the, the elect are a part of that man are a part of the true is of knowing and understanding 
understanding z elect is having two wisdom nor your understanding for this cause many are weak and stickly among you and many sleep you see you see you see thus point number one let's go to examine yourself man that's point number one let's go to second corinthian 13 second corinthian 13 verse 5 let me see mm -hmm. Second hmm. uh, Corinthians 13 verse 5 it says examine yourself whether you be in the faith prove your own self know you not your own self how that how shall have my shark in you except you be reprobate you see but I trust that you shall know that we are not reprobate now I pray to God that you do no evil not that we should appear approved. You see, you should appear approved. You see, how do you appear approved, man? Examine yourself, man. But that you should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobate. You see? You see? You see? You see? In verse 7, the apostle says, say, Now I pray to the most child. You see? The second point is fasting. How do you examine yourself, man, through fasting, man? <laughs> you see? <laughs> you, you, you can't get away from that, man. You, you, can't, you can't get away from that. You see? You examine yourself while you are fasting. How can you examine yourself? You are full of meat. You are full of uh, instant food, man. Uh, hey man, you are having sex, man. You see, uh, 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 fasting is what you call mind over matter, man. You abstain from fresh sin. You see, because you, as an individual, you are made of two, uh, uh, two integral parts, man. You are freshly born and a spiritual born. If you deny certain services, you are. You are freshly born, you are spiritual body will grow. If you deny certain thing, you are spiritual body, you are freshly born, they will, will grow. That's where you get all of this carnality, you have all of this demon, man. Because you have demon for everything, man. A demon of sex, we are recommending, you see, we are recommending to be fruitful and multiply, but if you do excessively, that's a demon. Uh, see, we are recommended to, uh, see, to eat, uh, you eat, drink liquor. If you do excessively, that's a demon. You lose the balance between your fleshy body and your spiritual body. Uh, see, and there's a balance between your fleshy body and your spiritual body. You need to be more spiritual than your fleshy. How do you become more spiritual? By feeding your spiritual body man, through fasting. You see? Fasting, uh, let's go to Matthew 17 and verse 21. You see? Very plain and simple. Matthew 17 and verse 21. How bad this kind goes not out by, by prayer and fasting? This kind, what kind, man? The demon in which you are plugging you, man. The financial demon, the health demon. Uh, uh, you, are, you are lazy every day, man. You are throatful. You are not doing videos, man. You are heavy, man. When you... you you think about doing a video, man. You, you are always heavy, man. You have this, this, this thick crowd around your mind, man, of doing video, man. You have this thick crowd around your mind of going to camp. You have this thick crowd, man, of reading the scriptures, man. But when it comes to your business, they say eating, having sex, man, going to, if you have a business, like normal business, you're making money, going to your job, man, you are very, very fast. But when it comes to the Lord's business, you are very slow. Just know you have a demon, man. I see Matthew 17, 21. How bad this kind goes not out by prayer and fasting, man? Uh, see, you can't make it without prayer and fasting, man. 
Examine yourself, pray and fast. That's it. Examine yourself, pray and fast. If you pray and fast, what do you develop? You develop discipline because you are not eating, you abstain from sex, you abstain from being over talkative. You know everything, man. You are, you are the nigga in town who know everything, man. You are abstaining from lust. You are abstaining from this. You are always doing. So you build the heart. You build the discipline. In the fasting, because when you are fasting, you read the scripture of prayer and fasting, you learn to fear the moisture and love the moisture because your mind will be inclined towards the Lord. You see? So fasting and praying is a fundamental to build your spiritual life. Man. You ain't gonna make it without that, man. You see? You ain't gonna do it. You might be doing all of these videos, man, but the man, when you look onto the mirror, the man you see is he troubled? Of course, we are being troubled. We see, we see the old man. Everybody goes through that, man. Time, time to time. The old man kick, the flesh kicking, the old man kicks in. But, hey, man, there is a certain degree. If the old man, the old man, or the fleshly man is stronger than the spiritual man, then, hey, man, what's the point of doing all of that video, man? What's the point of you going to camp every day, man? Because you will eventually fall, man. This is, this is like a litmus test, man. You see? This is like a litmus, litmus test. Now, if you don't know about the litmus, litmus test, Google it. Google, 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 Google it, man. Ma Matthew 9, 29, it says, and he said unto them, this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer. First, there is no maneuver. There is no maneuver behind it. <laughs> Even if, let's get the example for ancient fathers who fasted, man. This is Daniel 9, and she, and she, it is she, and I said, my faith unto the Lord, Yahabashem, you are shy. That's how you become near to the Lord, to seek by prayer and supplication, with fasting and sacros and ashes, man. You see, sacros. How you go to camp, you wear sacros and ashes. Supplication, man, you are day-to-day -day prayer, man. You see, and a fasting, man. You see, you could. You see, let's go to Acti. Book of Acti. You see, I, I want to make this short, man. 14. Book of Acti 14 and 23, if I'm not mistaken. You see? Uh -huh. You see? I uh, started verse 21, and when they had preached the gospel to, the, to that seat, that's what you are doing every day. If you are not doing that, you should get into uh, the act of preaching and hard taught many. That's what we are doing through the internet. They turned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, confirming the soul of the disciple, knowing the state of your folk, if you are a camp leader, man. I see if, 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 if you are the officer of 50, officer of whatever, or whatever officer you are, you are a general, you are a captain, you are a bishop, you should confirm the soul of your disciple and exhorting them to continue in the faith, man. You see, because not all brother's faith is the same, man. How do you exhort them to continue in the flesh, using the, to continue in the faith, Salaka, using the scripture? And that we must through much tribulation. Woo! Enter into the kingdom of the Moshiach. And when they had ordained them elders in every church that was going to the organization of the church, length and order, like how GMS is, and had prayed with fasting. You see, you do everything with fasting, man. Get into the habit of fasting, man. If we wanna open your business, you wanna you wanna do, you wanna Send your application for a certain job. You are sick, man. You see, instead of you learning right away to the doctor in which you can do that, but man, get into the habit of fasting, man. Let's say you want to get married, fasting, in which you does not recommend getting married right now. You see, you want to deal with your family members, you see, trouble some family member, you, you fast, man. You see, everything should be geared up to praying and fasting. And praying and fasting goes hand in hand. 
they commended them to the Lord in whom they believed. You see, that's why we commend to the Lord. That's why we show our loyalty to the Lord. Yahaba Hashem Yashad. Examine yourself and fasting before, through the Passover and after the Passover. And it should be this way until Yahweh shall come. Eh? That's how you confirm your own soul and your disciple soul being in this ministry. Those are the only tools we have been given, man. Praying, fasting, reading the scripture. Uh, see, teaching as many as disciples as we can, like how I, I, I have finished to read in Acts 14. You teach, preach, where you are sacros, man. You see, have your discipline, train your soul, man, to have discipline, man. You are inner man, to have discipline. You see, you fast, you pray. Uh, you see, the scripture tell you through many tribulations, you understand, man, what you are involved in. You understand what you are involved in, man, the seriousness of this ministry. You pray and fast. And the most important thing is have patience in everything. Have patience in everything. Don't move before the Lord say move. Don't move before the Lord say move. Don't do anything before it get consigned by the Lord. And how does you know that something has been consigned by the Lord? There are certain spiritual signs you will see. Another thing is when you seek counsel to your elder, when your elder tell you it is your right to do such and such and such, you see, when your elder tell you wait or no, you need to have patience, man. And that way the patience comes from the way the suffering, man. You need to suffer, man. Certain thing you might pray for five fucking day, five fucking years, man. Certain brothers have prayed for certain thing for 13 years. Five fucking 13, man. Years. If a child is born today, he'll be 13 years old. You are praying for the same thing. Lord willing, man, we don't go those many, but from my experience, it's only two to three days, man. If the issue is not serious, man, you will get your result. You see, though, this is Israel, I hope you brothers were edified onto the next.